Hi everyone, it's Michelle here from Older Women Rock. Hope you're having a great day today. If you're new to my channel, thank you for dropping by and think about subscribing. Hit that subscribe button down below. If you think you're a mature fashionista and you love styling and fashion and all things girly, I think you'll love my channel. And for those that have been before, welcome back. Today I really want to do something a lot of fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. And it was inspired recently by two absolutely wonderful women on YouTube. Margaret from 60 and Me. Many of us watch Margaret from 60 and Me. I think she's a, um, an absolute legend on YouTube. And over 60 with Sandra, once again, what a delightful, beautiful woman she is. And many of us watch Sandra as well. Okay, so what did they do that inspired me so much? They both colored their hair pink. They went pink. Okay, so I know that the pink hair look is probably pretty passe by now. And it really was more of a trend for younger women. So what's to stop me from having a go? And me being me, I thought, I'm not just going to color my hair pink. I'm going out all pink with outfits and so forth. So I have some pink makeup on today. I even have some pink accessories in my jewelry to show you. And we're gonna trial the L'Oreal. Now this is L'Oreal spray and it's um, Colorista. Colorista and one of them is pastel. This is pastel. I'm going to start with pastel first and the other one is hot pink. Then I'm going to move into the hot pink and we'll see how they go. I've given them a really small trial run to get some ideas but still um, see how we go today because I'm going to color the hair and as I said I'm going to coordinate with pink because that wouldn't be me if I just did the hair. I have to do some of the clothing and some of the garments and accessories as well and go all out pink today. And keep in mind pink is not my color. I never wear pink. I love it. It doesn't suit me. Well it's okay but it doesn't really suit me. I've got warm skin tones and this will be a good lesson to show you too. When you're a warm skin tone lady, what color doesn't suit you? Um, I think you just get away with pink, but it's not my color normally. But I thought, hey, this looks like so much fun. Pink hair, pink clothes, pink accessories. We'll do the pastel first, and then we'll do the hot pink spray. L'Oreal, um, L'Oreal Colorista. Now this is only temporary spray. I'm sure you understand that. It um, washes out in your next wash. Mind you, for the hot pink, it didn't totally wash out. I don't know, you probably can't see that there, but I still have a tiny bit left in and I gave my hair a very good washing conditioner. So be careful of the really strong colors. If you think it's just gonna wash out really easily, it probably won't. It might take two washes to get that out. For the pastel, I think different story. So what I'm gonna do is finish putting on my makeup, my pink makeup. And I, I've actually got pink eyeshadow on. I never wear pink eyeshadow. I do love it, it's gorgeous. This palette I owned um, for some time. It's Australis, an Australian company. So I used a really soft pink here on my lids. And I went for a stronger, it's really a plummy pink on the top lid underneath the brown a little bit on the corners as well so i went into the pink shades and i even got naughty and put a little bit of shimmer on the eyelids we're not supposed to wear shimmer as we're getting older but hey when you're going pink i think that um you break the rules then i think that's when you definitely break the rules and um lipstick try for a rosy pink lipstick so i'll just apply a little bit more that's quite a light colored lipstick it's natio i don't mean light light sorry i don't mean light as in nude i just mean it's not a really strong pink because i'm going to do the brighter pinks next we're going to go a little bit soft pink and we're going to go hot pink so on top 
of that i'll just put a bit of lip gloss on this is just a economical pink lip gloss i quite like a little bit of lip gloss on it actually looks good in photos on me i'm not a matte lady i can't wear matte but when i put a little bit of gloss on in photos i guess the light hits the photo and um apparently gloss can make your lips look a little bit more full so that's a good thing and next is blush i haven't put my blush on i thought i'd save that to show you this is my beautiful beautiful elizabeth arden cream it's a rosy pink blush actually, i actually haven't been wearing rosy pink blushes lately i've been wearing peaches but today is all about pink and nothing but pink so I'm going to put um, my blush on so I'll, eat, I'll be even more pink up toward the ear as we go and I better do both sides this is a really beautiful I know it's not that economical this Elizabeth Arden cream blush but um, it's a beautiful product I've used this one for years and years it is my favorite cream blush and believe me being um, super into blush I'm really quite fussy and I have tried many and if they don't cut it well they don't cut it but Elizabeth Arden does I know you pay more but it lasts a really long time a tube of that would last or a pot of that would last me a year so I hope that's enough blush or not too much and the other blush because i often double blush is my revlon this is a really light pastel pink going back with the light pastel look that i'm going to put in my hair so i'm going to put that just above here is the garden just a little bit above there to give um a highlighting effect actually just a highlighting effect just a little bit and rub that up toward the ear as well so i've double blushed I've gone extremely pinky <laughs> and the other thing I'm going to do with this I'm going to put some on my eyelids but on the top of the eyelid up here just a little bit here on the top eyelid blush light pink blush just to add um, more pink <laughs> okay so that's it for the makeup my apologies for that i didn't mean to start without you with the pastel um l'oreal colorista spray my camera just cut out as i was um uh doing the filming of this so it already started i didn't realize this i didn't mean to so you can see the pink's already happening there the pastel pink and what i did was show you these fantastic shoes you didn't see these my gorgeous sneakers pink satin paisley aren't they incredible i don't usually wear pink but i'm definitely going to be keeping these this is such a pink theme aren't they beautiful so back to the hair um and i'll just keep spraying and i'm really apologetic that it just cut out i already started so you can see that i'm going pink already so i'm trying to do fine spray and not big lumps of it and I'm also trying not to get this in my eyes so I actually might put glasses on I wouldn't want to get this product in my eyes I don't think anybody would want that so I hope that you're seeing here and I also don't want it on my skin Can you see I'm going pink? <laughs> it's turning out pink. I might just lift back here. As I said, I was only going to do the front of my hair. These towels I don't want to stay on. <laughs> I had another one on the floor. The one that you missed. So I think that I'm um, looking a lot more pink. Do 
doing the ends of my hair would be a lot more difficult. I think this top will end up being pink if I'm not careful. So that applies pretty well. It certainly would work a lot easier if you had shorter hair. <laughs> a lot of things do. So that's the pastel. I'm probably going stronger on the pastel than I intended to. Oh, that's it. I've run out. I didn't intend to run out. Um, didn't last long. Oh, be very careful when you're buying one of these. They don't last long, so you can't be heavy handed just like I was. I didn't do the bottom of my hair. But I think you can see um, it definitely works. You're probably going to need, if you've got long hair, you'll need two cans of um, the, the L'Oreal um, Colorista, definitely. So that's the pastel pink. I probably could have went a little bit lighter. That's the pastel pink. And as I said, um, along with a few pink outfits, the next I'm going to try is the hot pink and um, I have a way where I won't be able to use this all up as much. I have another way I'll use this one. So I'll just show you my other pink outfit. Not just about pink hair, about some pink fashion as well. This is a little shell pink. Actually it's got a touch of coral in this one. It's not a real true pink which I couldn't wear anyway. I, well, I can, it just doesn't suit me for my skin tone. And some crystal and pink beads with gold in them. A lot of people love pink, a lot of women love gold and pink together. Tell me if you do. Tell me if you like gold and pink together or gold and silver. I suppose it depends on the jewelry that you wear. And I've got some vintage pearls here as well. So I thought I'd go a little bit vintage with my pink because pink really suits that vintage look. It's one of those colors that suits, I think it really suits vintage 1930s, 40s look and 1950s as well. It used to be such a popular color and years and years ago, it was incredibly on trend. You couldn't go to any shop without seeing masses of pink and I do love it. Women love it. It's an incredibly popular color with women. The Hot Pink Colorista L'Oreal Spray. Hot Pink. I've got the fuchsia top on. I quite often call hot pink fuchsia. And I thought I'd just put a little bit of stronger fuchsia colored lipstick on as well to match the top and the hair. So that's a, a really strong future lipstick. So I'm going to be all matchy matchy. And we've got the hot pink. Oh, <laughs> I have to be a bit more careful with this one. It's a lot stronger color. As you can see. <laughs> Already, I'm sure you can see. Now it's it's really quite strong. If you're very fair or have fair hair or white gray hair like I do, this might be too strong for you. And as I said, this doesn't wash out as easily as they say. It does wash out. Might take two washes. It's quite a strong color. I'm very pink now. I'll just keep going. So to finish off the hot pink, I thought I'd put my hair in an updo in a bun. I thought that would be easier and just spray it on because um, pretty strong color, the hot pink. So unless you've got, as I said, if your hair's too light, you might find it really strong. Check out this gorgeous bag talking about pink. Once again, pink and gold. Love, love this bag. I thought I'd go all out with the pink. As I said, it wasn't just about the hair, it was about outfits, pink outfits. I don't wear pink, so this is kind of fun for me to wear a different color. So 
do you wear pink? And how do you wear pink? What do you wear it with? I love pink and blue together. I've seen really rich blues with pink. I think that looks really dynamic. I love those color combinations. I wish I could wear pink more often. Well, I can, it's just not my best color having warm skin undertones. I've done a video about that. You've probably seen quite a bit about that on YouTube, about your skin undertones. Well, fuchsia pink or hot pink is really not my best color. It's not that we can't wear colors, it's just what suits that skin undertones better than others. Okay ladies, thank you so much today for watching. I had a lot of fun with um, the L'Oreal Colorista Spray. I had a lot of fun with that. I think it's going to take three washes to get this out. This is really strong. <laughs> so thank you so much today. Thank you so much for watching. And um, give me a like. And I hope to see you soon. Bye bye now.